In this video lesson, let's explore how we stretch the triceps brachii. We will demonstrate this on the right side. Right now our model, our client Marianne, is seated on the table, so we have a bit of a view here of the posterior upper extremity. The triceps brachii has three heads overlying the arm, the brachium. The medial and lateral heads attach onto the posterior surface of the humerus. They cross the elbow joint posteriorly to attach onto the olecranon process of the ulna, and their only joint action is extension at the elbow joint, and therefore we would stretch them with flexion at the elbow joint, the opposite of their joint action, so we lengthen them. The long head, though, crosses the shoulder joint also, and it crosses it to attach onto the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula way up high by the glenoid fossa, and it crosses the shoulder joint posteriorly and medially. So the long head of triceps brachii, in addition to extending the elbow joint, it also extends and add adducts the arm at the shoulder joint. So Marianne, let me have you now face about 45 degrees that way. So if our first goal is to stretch the medial or lateral head, the medial and lateral heads, then all we really need to do is flex the elbow joint. Now, let's say that perhaps the long head is very, very tight and it's stopping the stretch. Well, if I were to bring the shoulder joint back into extension and keeping it adducted, that would slacken the long head and it would be knocked out of the stretch and then preferentially the stretch would move more to the medial and lateral heads. So here is a very nice position to stretch the medial and lateral heads of the triceps brachii. If instead our goal is to stretch the long head of triceps brachii, then we need to add in what we're going to do across the glenohumeral shoulder joint. Because the long head of triceps brachii is an extensor and an adductor, we would want to have flexion and ab Duction. So we can bring the client's arm way out over this way, and then we bring the elbow joint into full flexion. And we can stretch her very nicely, just like that. Now there is one other consideration for long head of triceps brachii. Can you turn so you're faced more that way for a moment there? This muscle when we are abducted up at about 90 degrees, run straight horizontally across, and therefore it becomes a muscle that can do this joint action, which is horizontal extension. You can turn right to the camera now. Therefore, we can have a very nice stretch for triceps brachii by instead moving the client into horizontal flexion. And I can just bring you right over here, stabilize your trunk, and bring you across into horizontal flexion, and then we would need, of course, to have the elbow joint fully flexed. And this horizontal flexion position, along with elbow joint flexion, would be very nice for preferentially stretching the long head of the triceps brachii. So just to review very, very quickly, if it's medial and lateral heads, we bring the shoulder joint in extension to slacken long head, we flex the elbow joint. If it's long head, we have the choice of bringing her out into flexion and abduction and then flexing the elbow joint, or we have the choice of flexing the elbow joint with her right there in horizontal flexion. Those are three choices for stretching the triceps brachii muscle.